What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great start of the week this Monday. And if you're not, I've got some news that'll hopefully be able to cheer you up. All right, so we haven't done a car update in a couple of days and we're waiting on the dealership to finalize everything, order all the parts, and they are supposedly starting to work on it right now, digging everything apart, seeing what's damaged. Those of you guys that have no idea what I'm talking about, I have a 2019 Mustang GT that is full bolt-on. <laughs> It runs low 11s and we are chasing that glorious fairy tale 10 second pass in the quarter. Uh, I think we're very, very close. Best so far is 11.2, but over here in the corner, I'll show you in just a second, we have some things that are hopefully gonna get us there. Maybe just a little bit closer, I don't know, we shall see. But if you guys remember, early in January, I believe it was, we went down there, we had media passes, we got to go firsthand and experience the Shelby GT500, that is the 2020 model, uh, release. And it was beautiful, it was a beautiful car, but you know, going there, making that trip didn't really tell us anything new. I got to be there, I got to touch the car, we didn't get to sit in it or anything like that, but we got to crawl around under it, over it, all of that, and then really just see what this thing looks like in person, and it's an awesome car. But there was one, there was one that was hiding up in the corner, it was a silver base model, and they didn't release any information on that guy, because the one that they showed was the one with all the carbon fiber stuff. Now me personally, if I were gonna buy a 2020 Shelby, it was gonna be that base model. And it seems like for the past like year and a half or so, there's just been so much speculation on price and everything, what this thing is gonna cost, you know, forget about markup, everything's gonna be marked up, we know that. But we all wanna know what the base MSRP is. Now we still are out of luck when it comes to horsepower numbers, torque, all of that. Everybody has their, their fine guesses. Uh, they're probably very educated guesses, but uh, word on the street is we're close. We're close to knowing that information. But as far as MSRP, we got it. We got it, it's been leaked. Now this is the beast here. We took it out yesterday, spent about three hours on it, and we actually drove through some rain. It was not fun. On a CBR 1000, it's 2018 model. It matches the car that we currently have, our 2019 Mustang, and our Mustang is still up there in New Jersey getting fixed. But yes, we're gonna be motor vlogging with this thing. I'm um, simply waiting on some stuff to come in the mail to attach to my helmet, if you will, so we can have some audio. But over here, I'm not gonna give it all away but in those boxes. So we already saw the springs. If you haven't, we have basically kind of like a drag spring set up over here from BMR. There's two, two other boxes over there. I will reveal that in the next video. So if you're interested, definitely subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because what is in those two little boxes, I think is going to be a game changer. But yeah, we're definitely at the point where we got to look into like getting axles, drive shaft, and then we can use our trans brake, hopefully to get us into that 10 um, with some good DA. We need good DA, but and those two other boxes there, in combination with the springs that are sitting on, I think is, is hopefully going to get us there a lot closer and faster. All right, but here we go. Pricing starts for the base model is leaked to be $67,000. That's it. That's it. It's cheaper than we thought. I figured personally it's going to be, you know, a little bit north of 70. I didn't think that they, you know, I honestly... If we're just talking and being real, I, I think it's kind of a bold thing that, that Ford's doing because remember the GT350s are not uh, discontinued yet. You can still buy them even in the 2019 model year. And supposedly they're gonna carry over into 2020, at least for, I don't know if they'll extend past into 2021, who knows, but at least for 2020, you're still safe. You can still buy one as of right now. Now we all know that the 2020 Shelby is going to come in a DCT, a seven speed DCT only. As of right now, it's going to have no manual option. I personally think that we will see a manual in the future. I don't know, you know, as of right now, Ford is saying not, they're saying no, they're saying DCT only. And that's okay. It's going to be a fast car. Um, I personally still think that it's going to be closer to the 800 horsepower range, but we shall see. We know that it's going to run sub 11 seconds in the quarter and it's going to have a top speed of just under 200 mile an hour and that's uh, mostly so that they can satisfy both the straight line guys and the road course guys so they're trying to make this kind of like an all-around car which is cool i like that now if we get up here and we look at my little toys that are in the garage uh this guy right there that is a camaro all right that's the zl1 now the one le i think that is going to be the biggest because it's not a demon killer the dodge demon has nothing to do with the 2020 shelby we all know that by now uh, but as far as the 1LE Camaro goes, I think that they're going to be pretty close, pretty close in comparison. The Shelby's definitely going to have more power, but who shall be the king on the road course 
I guess we'll find out here in a few months. That kind of really leads us into the question, am I gonna buy one? You know, because uh, my 2019 Mustang has had two major accidents in under a year. So with it being $67,000, that's kind of affordable, you know, for somebody like me. And I don't need all the carbon fiber bits, carbon fiber wheels and all of that. I would be plenty happy with a seven speed dual clutch because I already have a 10 already car. And uh, I, I don't like the little turn knob thing that they have in the, in the new Shelby, but you know, that's, that's fine, whatever, I can get past that. But as far as the rest of the car, the monster powerhouse that it's gonna be for $67,000, is is am i interested yeah kind of kind of but am i gonna buy one um well as of right now no 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 because i've mostly it's mostly just personal preference i like to mod cars you guys know that uh most of my channel consists of turning wrenches uh bolting on parts uh, doing you know product reviews going to the track testing them and all that stuff and having fun and i really feel like if i spent all that money on a shelby I would uh, not really be touching it a whole lot. I do exhaust, but as far as like cosmetics or changing any interior pieces or anything like that, I just, I don't think that the car, I think it's a special car. I just don't think it's for me. Um, you know, if I want seven, 800 horsepower, I can still do that with my Mustang GT. So really nothing has changed. I think we're just gonna rock on with the Mustang GT. I'm not afraid to mod it, you know, and if it gets into accidents, which it's had two already, so my Carfax is done, it's not gonna hurt my feelings as bad as it would if it's a $70,000 you know, plus car thereabout. Uh, you got taxes in there, you got all that. And then remember, markup. Go ahead and guarantee it's gonna be somewhere in the ballpark of $20,000 plus, unless you're one of those lucky few that you know can beat that. But for me, uh, a Mustang that is close to $100,000, it's just not in my cards and I don't really want it to be. Even if I could afford it, I still think that I would choose the Mustang GT just for the tunability, the modability, all of that. However, it doesn't mean that I won't be around any. If you guys are familiar with Serpent Stangs at all, he's got a garage full of some Shelbys and stuff like that. So he's got a uh, 18 Tenorati Mustang on nitrous. He also has a GT350R and he actually does road course stuff with it. So there's gonna be a lot of people that buy this. You're gonna just probably see YouTube channels pop up you know, every five minutes once the uh, the Shelby comes out. But the guys that are actually going to use this thing on track, he's one of them. Now, if I did have one, I would be one of those guys too. I would be road coursing that thing, driving it like it's supposed to be. Uh, it would definitely not sit in the garage and I would just, if I'm gonna pay the money for something like that, I'm gonna drive it. Same thing with if I had like a Ferrari or a McLaren or any of those, you know, supercars, I would drive it. I'm still so very excited for you guys to see what's in these boxes. Uh, I purposely have not opened up those two just so I can do it on camera. I want you guys to be there. Just We're just doing like a short unboxing, uh, if you will. But I, I think that it's really going to transform the back of the car, help us to 60 foot a lot better, shoot us down the track, even without using trans brake. I think that this is still going to get us a little bit closer to that fairy tale 10 second pass. So definitely, again, stay tuned to the channel. Uh, this week, you should be seeing an unboxing of this. I think it's gonna be really cool. Some hardcore racing parts that I would not normally do on a Mustang uh, that I drive on the street. So we are stepping things up just a little bit and all thanks to Kelly Aiken and all the staff there at BMR. Well, I just gave some of it away. BMR, hardcore racing parts. Here we go, stay tuned. But yeah, that's it, that wraps it up. I'm gonna keep my Mustang GT for at least a little while longer. Um, the, the 2020 Shelby, especially seeing it in person, you know, it's it's great, it's an awesome car. Uh, is it gonna be for me? Not me personally, because I just like to toy around with mods and cosmetics and all that stuff, and it brings awesome content. You know, and it's a relatable car. Not everybody can afford, you know, 70, 80, 90,000 dollars for a car. A lot of you guys can relate to a Mustang GT. So that's one of the reasons why we like to keep one on the channel. And we'll just have to stay out of accidents so it doesn't get any worse. We've already got two major ones. But the body shop is working on the car right now and they're waiting on everything else to get delivered so they can piece back the subframe because that got destroyed and all of that. Uh, we're gonna step it up with the exhaust. We're gonna do some cool stuff with it. Uh, the car is, as always, just getting started, just like the channel and everything else that we do here. So definitely, definitely don't miss any future videos. We should have the car back in a few weeks and I'm excited 
And then we have all of the events coming up throughout the remainder of the year. And then leads us into Mustang Week. I'm very excited. Yep, yeah, we're going back to Mustang Week. Going up there with Stang Mode and Tunnel Chaser. We're going there with Serpent Stangs, all those guys. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'd love to be able to take you along for the ride. So stick with me and I'll see you guys next time.